Hi everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. It's great to catch up with you guys again. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you an amazing recording software. And this recording software not only allows you to record, arrange, edit, mix, and publish your songs, it also has a lot of high quality sound sample. And best of all, it's free. Free. Yes, you hear it correctly. Free. Okay, now for those of you who watched my previous video about the Presonus One Prime, they are no longer available for downloads. It's been discontinued uh, from Presonus. Okay, so for those of you who are still new in uh, music recording, you want to try to record something, but you don't want to invest very heavily on the software and you are still looking out, there are a few options that you can get the free uh, software. So one is you purchase the audio interface. For example, this is Evo 4. So this is a great audio interface. I'm going to do a review on that. So stay tuned on that and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss uh, any of the uh, episode. Now, if you buy this Evo 4 audio interface, it comes with Cubase LE version. So you can also use that to record your song. Of course, for LE versions, there are some um, limitations all right it's free come on now the other option is for those of you who are using mac you can use GarageBand, which you can also produce high quality songs uh, using GarageBand alone okay now uh to those of you who wants to learn about GarageBand, you can leave a comment i will try to work out some tutorial let me know what are the topics that you would like to learn and i can also help you out and for those of you who have already downloaded personas Prime, Presonus Studio One Prime, you can still continue to use it. And also let me know if you are keen to learn some more and what are the topics that you would like to learn and I will probably create some tutorial for you also. Now, these are the options currently. So you have very limited options for those of uh, you who are using Windows and I'm going to share with you this amazing software called BandLab. So this software is running on browser. It doesn't require you to install any software on your computer. Great. For those of you who are not so tech savvy, you have problems installing, don't know what to click and what to um, do with all this, no problem. This guy will solve it for you because you just need a Chrome. What you're seeing now is I'm running on my Safari. You can still run it on your Safari, but it's not fully compatible. And especially for those of you who wants to use the uh, MIDI controller, Safari is not a good choice. You have to switch to Chrome, okay? Now, I'm going to go into detail uh, for the next episode. But now, let me walk you through a high-level overview of this software. Now, signing up BandLab is free and it's very easy. As easy as you are signing up in social media account like Facebook and Instagram or TikTok, etc. And this is actually like a social media for musicians. So from here, once you sign up, you will go to the main page. So from here, you can see there are so many people posting and sharing their song. Let me just play a few nice ones for you, okay? It's kind of cool, right? Oh, I like this. Maria, Maria, you be hearing that bitch, right? You see, the quality is quite good, and uh, this is a cover rap part. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not sure with uh, will YouTube flag me or not, but anyway. You can explore them. It's pretty crazy. You can follow people. Um, you can share music, uh, check out videos, like their posts, like their album, create your playlist as well. So these are pretty good. Okay. So, but today I'm going to focus on the music creation part. Okay. So let me zoom in on the top right corner. You will see this create button. So when you click on the create button, you will see two options. One is new project and the other one is song starter with AI. So I'm going with the new projects. So once you click on new projects, let me zoom out, you will see this quick start uh, tab. So you can choose song templates. I'm going to show you in a short while. This is pretty amazing. Okay. Now, 
uh, you can also create new tracks with your vocals, with your instruments or drum machines or guitar, etc. and bass and all that. So I'm going to go with the song template. So from here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. All right. How cool is that? You have electric genre, you have hip hop and you have pop. You can audition each of them. So let's say for example, pop lock. <laughs> True or dare But I'm gonna show you this I like this This is like Linkin Park I'm gonna load this template So within seconds You can see that the template has been loaded With individual stems and the best part is you can edit them you can add and you can change things as you wish okay let me play a little bit for you i want you to listen to the drum part okay i'm going to show you some amazing stuff okay so listen to the drum part Okay, now, so you can see from here, I can play, I can record, and what I wanted to show you is over here. Let me zoom in for you, okay? So let me zoom in on the top right corner. There is this invite ver uh, button, which means you can invite someone to collaborate with you, okay? So let me zoom out a little bit. So when you click on the invite, you can invite collaborator, your friends, your music uh, producers or whoever, you know, they can come in and join the fun of creating music together with you. And this software runs on browser, meaning that you can save time installing the software to your computer. I have classes with elderly, senior, uh, I think one of the challenges that they face is uh, the technical side that they need to install. Previously, I was using Presonus 1 Prime to teach them. So a few of them having problem installing and they do not know what to click if they are not so savvy. But with this band lab, you don't even need to bother about installing the software. You just need a browser to work. Now, the best is to use Chrome because um, of compatibility. So what I'm showing you is with Safari, but the Safari doesn't work with my MIDI controller. I've tried that already. So I have to use Chrome if I need to use MIDI controller. Other than that, um, Safari is fine, okay? Now, back to the interface. So from here, you can see that, um, let me, okay, so already zoom out. So from here, you can see that there is individual track that you can add. And when you click on add track on the top left, let me zoom in. So you can see, you can add new tracks, like for example, vocal tracks. I can straight away add in the vocal tracks and uh, zoom out a little bit. You can see that there is an input. I can choose my audio interface. I can choose which channel, okay? And I can also activate the monitoring and you can see the input level. You can also have, they also have this amazing auto pitch. Oh my goodness, you can, Auto pitch immediately when you are recording later. We're gonna try that, okay? It is pretty cool. And you have the effect, which you have the prefix effect that are built in. Let's say for vocals, these are some of the effects that you can add in. And of course, you can also, let's say, punchy wrapped, okay? So these are the compressor, these are the noise gate that you can add in, etc. And now, for a new user, it's absolutely fine. I find these are high quality uh, effects that you can use. But for those of us who already season and we have our own favorite plugged in to go to, Benlet probably it's not your choice because I don't find any 
way that I can use my you know third party plugin and install it and run it so it doesn't work for us but for new uh, learner beginners it's absolutely fine okay now uh, let's just go through and there is another one that um, effect I want to share with you which is automation so how cool is that for example if you look at this drum let me just solo this drum so from the beginning you can see that there is actually a filter of the frequency so it's a low pass that means anything that is below 1008 Hertz will pass through so you get this effect the grid effect but you let me fast forward but you look at here when it supposed to go into the verse portion it actually automate this filter and make it let me show you uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see clearer okay so let so stay 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 focus on the frequency knobs okay so let me play Did you see that? One more time. How cool is that? I mean, you can automate this and you can't even, okay, you can do it in Presonance Prime, yes. Uh, but this makes it very easy. So let me show you how it does. Uh, so you can open the automations by either clicking the filter, okay? So you can click and then you can see that automations line is here. So there's an automations over here. You can also go to the top and activate from this button as well. But the key is you can literally draw that out and it's pretty easy and amazing, right? So you can choose to automate whichever parameters. So from here, you can select what you want to automate, resonant, frequency, tone, drive, and whatsoever things that, let's say if I want to automate a pen, I can even do so. So from here, um, okay, let me just uh, check the frequency side. So they start from bar number eight. So from bar number eight, I want to also do a pen. So I can do from here, I can do a pen, okay? Um, let me just get back here, okay, so that I don't overdo it. So I can do a pen up. I can then also do a pen down and then it goes back in, okay? So let's have a listen. How cool is that, right? And it's pretty amazing, I find. So. There are so many things that you can do with this guy and ready template some more. So this is my vocals. So let me just change the... Okay, so I've changed. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this is my vocals. So let's say I want to record some vocals over here and let's... Okay, so let, let's just do an impromptu. I also don't know what to record. So let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, so it's so, so cool. Okay, so let me just go to here. This is my channel. And uh, this is my kind of uh, auto pitch. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this. I have not tried this before. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether it works or not. So let's try. Let's try. Okay, so let's think of something. Hey, hey, listen up, listen up. I'm wrecked on this. I don't know whether it works or not. What do you think? Okay, so let's hear. Hey, 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 listen up, listen up. I'm wrecked on this. I don't know whether it works or not. What do you think? Okay, so it actually detects the, uh, yeah. So you can hear from here, there is a wrong notes that I sing out of the key. It actually adjusted for me, right? This is pretty cool. I can go in and I can go to the editor and then I can edit my audio. 
So uh, playback speed and uh, gain reverse. I can also add in effects. Say for example, I need a driver to try my sound. Hey, 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 listen, listen up, up, listen up. And then I can do an automations after this intro. During the verse, I can turn off this driver and that will be pretty fun, right? So this is a quick view of the band lab pretty amazing let me know how do you find and what do you think and i will catch up with you on the next episode so stay tuned and i'll see you bye bye